So I'm here with uh, Chris Rice, who's uh, leads development for SQL Developer, Data Modeler, Apex Listener, uh, and Oracle XE. And Oracle XE. That's All right. Free stuff. One of one of uh, yeah. That's one of my favorite products today. Um, Chris, you built the original SQL Developer. That um, obviously has changed over the years. I interviewed some of your guys in engineering earlier. Um, what led you to that? How has it changed? Do you want to go through the, the design choices that you guys made? Sure. So we started it, there was just two of us in 2006. We had an idea and uh, it took us about a month and a half to put a prototype together and uh, everyone agreed that's something that Oracle should be doing. Oracle should have the tool that's the face of the database to expose the database features as they come out and uh, we've just progressed since then. So we've included database features as the database comes out. For example, the SQL dev that came out last week already supports 12C of the database and many of the features in there. We've listened to what users want and what they need for a tool and we've built some of that. There's uh, an exchange where you can actually tell us what to do or suggest what we should do, I should say. There's uh, the version 1.5 was the first one that shipped with the database. So now every time you install a database, it's just there. It's ubiquitous, it's everywhere. And we're up to about two and a half million users that use it these days. And one thing that I love about your development team is you guys actually listen to your OTN discussion forums and you track features requested in there and you've built a lot of features into the product. Yes, so if you go to sqldeveloper.oracle.com you can actually fill out an enhancement request and vote on it kind of movie style, Netflix, give it stars and things like that. And uh, the more popular they are, the more we listen, the more we look at it. And on the forums, uh, I think it's crucial that the developers actually interact with our end users and get direct feedback. And I think that helps a lot with the uh, credibility and the usability of the tool. So one of the pieces that uh, Oracle's always had uh, migrations to do, people moving to the Oracle platform. I know Barry uh, is in your team and um, uh, you've really cleaned that side up of it. It used to be a whole bunch of toolkits and scripts. And yes. uh, what, what, talk, talk a little bit about that. So when we first developed SQL Dev, the uh, migration team from the, where, uh, the older workbench helped us out. So they came over and uh, helped us out. We kind of put migrations on hold for about a year and a half to two years. And then using SQL Dev as a platform, we rebuilt the migration tool. And today we have extremely large customers doing migrations from Sybase and SQL Server straight to Exadata. Excellent. Now, I also managed to interview one of our uh, ACE directors, Kent, and uh, he's a big data modeler guru. So, um, uh, we used to have a tool called Designer, and uh, it's, he said that there's actually now getting to the point where um, the data modeler that you guys have built in is, um, for uh, most use cases, is actually working for him, and uh, you're winning some Designer converts. <coughs> yes, yeah, so uh, Oracle Designer. Uh, it was a great tool, it had a long life, lots of people liked it, um, but we're not designer. We're pure modeling, so logical, physical, relational, multi-dimensional modeling. Um, it's actually a perfect example of us, of people telling us what we didn't do. Okay. So when SQL Dev started uh, on our exchange of feature requests, the number one thing was modeling. Okay. And uh, I kind of sidelined it for a while. Yeah. Built out some of the core things that we had to do and it still just kept getting higher and higher. So we listened and we came up with the modeler and now it's, uh, it's free. You just go to OTN, download it and uh, there's been a lot of interest this week in modeling. We've had a lot of questions, a lot of uh, hands-on labs, people are using it a lot and Kent is great. He, uh, he teaches the religion. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now another product that is uh, really actually uh, up and coming and uh, has been crucial in uh, some of the infrastructure for Oracle's cloud service is uh, the Apex Listener. Uh, you were the one that built the original version of that. So, um, one, why was it necessary? Uh, I mean, haven't we got enough you know, database listeners, other listeners, and everybody's listening. Yeah, why, why did it come about? So the Apex listener came about because uh, Mod PL SQL, the old version, uh, to use the OA toolkit in the EPG, um, hadn't changed a lot in a while. So Mod PL SQL requires Apache, requires the OHS uh, middleware stack. <laughs> so, uh, much like SQL Dev, in about two or three weeks I had an initial prototype together and um, we kind of grew from there. So the initial prototype was done in Java, so 
uh, we could use it as a base, goes with the Java framework, goes with the WebLogic installs that people already have. It kind of fits in with the current tech stacks better than the Mod PLSQL does. Um, and from there, it's a good platform for us to build upon, which is exactly what we did with the cloud. So the first version of the Apex Listener, uh, you deploy it, it talks to one database at a time. The new version, which came out uh, again last week for Open World, the EA2, so beta 2 of EA uh, Listener 2, uh, you can set up multiple databases. It's all regular expression based. It can read those rules out of anything. It can uh, multiplex to different databases based on whatever rules you want, which is the foundation of what we've done with the Oracle database cloud service. So all that work that Colm's doing on the new version of the Apex Listener, um, that's really been uh, growing really fast, I think. Is there any new features that you're on your wish list that you're like, okay, what's, what's he going to be working on next? Uh, I think next we're just getting the cloud running and up and live and get a few thousand or hundred thousand or however many people we can out there. Excellent. Great. Well, Chris, thank you very much, and uh, best of luck with the rest of Open World and uh, all of your development endeavors. Sounds great. Thanks.